Hey, it's Cory, and today you're going to learn how to play Daughter of the Sea from World of Warcraft. To get started, let's make sure ukulele's in tune. That's going to be a G on the fourth string, a C on the third string, an E on the second string, and an A on the first string. All right, let's get started. Uh, just as a disclaimer, so today's like a filming day for me, so I'm, I've been working on a couple different tutorials. However, I've also developed a head cold, and I found during filming one of my other ones, of which you may have seen already, uh, Kingdom Hearts Sanctuary. I'll make sure to link it somewhere. But I'm having a little bit of a hard time singing, so I hope that this is still very helpful for you. But I did want to bring up that in case you are practicing and you are sick, it's a really good thing. Like for me, I'm not going to be like going hard on the singing, and I would encourage you to do t that too. So I mean, like the number one thing you can do if you're sick is get rest. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't practice. You could either play along without the singing, or you could just sing a little bit lighter and more of a head voice, and that is light enough on your vocal cords as well and then of course make sure you're drinking plenty of water which i am i've already drank like four bottles today so just as a little like the more you know but let's get started into this song what i really love about this song first of all it's from world of warcraft of which uh i don't know if anyone else who's watching this play or if you're maybe like huh what is this song i know i've been playing all the way since vanilla um for like 13 years um so i really love the music from world of warcraft i use it as study music i use it when i'm like planning lesson plans it's just like really really beautiful and um so i was really excited a couple months ago um right before the latest expansion came out and this song was released so that's the first thing i love about the song second thing i love about the song it's the jada proudmore voice actress laura bailey who is singing this and beautiful voice if you don't know who she is she's a very famous um voice actress that works for video games but also for a lot of anime so uh you might like know her voice for instance from She's like Lust from Full Metal Alchemist, both Brotherhood and the original, or like uh, she's in Fruits Basket. I mean, she's in a ton of things. Soul Eater. So, second thing I love. Third thing I love for a beginner, beginning ukulele player, this is a really, really accessible song. There are only three chords. It's the A minor, the G major, and the E minor. So those are very, very um, beginner-friendly chords. And there's just a really like simple strumming pattern with it. So we don't have to change anything about this song. And it's really, really rare that I can say that, that I don't have to like make an adjustment to make it easier. It is already easy and it's like classic sense. Also, I love that it comes off as like a sea shanty um really kind of fun interesting song so let's give it a go the first chord you'll need is an a minor for that you're gonna take a your second finger place it on the fourth string second fret you're then gonna need a g major you're gonna take your first two fingers to start your first finger is gonna go on the third string second fret your second finger is gonna go on the first string second fret and your third finger is gonna go right between the two all right, your last chord that you're gonna need is an E minor. You take your first finger, place it on the first string, second fret. Your second finger is gonna go on the second string, third fret, and your third finger is gonna go on the fourth fret, third string. All right, once you have that all done, we're gonna use two very simple strumming patterns for this song. For the very, very beginning and intro and the very, very end of the last verse, you're just gonna be strumming on the chord changes, okay? So that's really, really easy. Then when we get past that very, very beginning intro, we're going to do a down, up, down, down. So again, that's down, up, down, down. So that's the whole strumming pattern. Super, super easy. And of course, if that's still a little bit more advanced for you, just keep it on the chord changes or just on the downbeat, and that is totally fine too. Um, but again, so we're either just switching between on the chord changes or a down, up, down, down. All right, with that being said, let's give it a go. All right, one, two, here we go. Beware, beware. Daughter of the sea, beware, I heard him cry. His words carried upon the ocean breeze as he sank beneath the tide. Those blood soaked shores of Kalandor, where the sailors fought and died. The 
I heard, I heard across the moonlight sea an old voice warning me. Beware, beware the daughter of the sea. Beware, beware of me. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. It's a really easy song. Um, and also because it's like so simple with the chords and that um, melody is very repetitive, it's really great that if you wanted to make your own cover of it, you could really add a lot of um, embellishment, which would be cool. Uh, yeah, so I hope you found this helpful. I love World of Warcraft. I <laughs> will probably play it some point today. Um, so if you, if there are any other songs that I like have singing it, like for, like um, comes to my mind, like um, the Lament of the Highborn, for instance, and you'd like to learn how to play it, I think that song would be particularly really pretty as like having like a simple picking pattern along with it. Um, let me know. Obviously, some are a little bit more difficult than others. Like uh, another one I think can think of is like the the song from the Wrath of the Lich King cinematic, where there's like latin in it but again if that's something you're interested in, make sure to comment below also let me know if, if you play like alliance or horde i'm just curious i'm an alliance person personally uh mainly because when i first started playing the game i was like really really young and i'm like oh night elves are pretty looking um but i've recently been thinking about switching over because I have like the allied races. So let me know what you play and let me know if I should either stay alliance or switch my allegiances. All right. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.